Ukraine damages or destroys 26 ships of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, UK intelligence. Ukrainian forces damaged or destroyed 26 ships of the Russian Navy operating in the Black Sea region between February 2022 and June 2024. This is stated in a report by the UK Defence Ministry. According to open sources, attacks on Russian ships were carried out in the northern region of the Black Sea and in the Sea of Azov. There has been an increase in the frequency and level of damage caused by attacks around the Crimean Peninsula over the last year, with nearly two-thirds of strikes occurring within this period. UK intelligence says earlier Dmitro Pletenchuk, a spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, also said that the Russian Black Sea Fleet had already lost about a third of its ships during the large-scale war. In a new development, a Russian Navy ship normally based in Novorossiysk has docked in the port of Ochamchiri in Georgia. The port is in the Abkhazia region, which is controlled by Russia. The local Russian-backed administration has claimed that the Russian Navy would establish a permanent base at the port. The base is already home to a number of small federal security service of the Russian Federation patrol boats. This is the first significant naval ship visit observed since the claims. The move is controversial since the port is in Georgia, which implies bringing Georgia into the Russo-Ukraine war. Russia could attempt to use the port as a refuge from attacks, and they could create a safe base to launch combat missions. Ukraine's options will be complicated because it is located on Georgian territory despite being controlled by breakaway Abkhazia. At the beginning of the full-scale invasion in 2022, Russia's fleet dominated the Black Sea. Its primary base was Sevastopol on Crimea. Since then, it has lost a significant number of warships and Sevastopol is vulnerable to USVs, mines, aerial drones and missiles. Consequently, the majority of high-value naval assets have been moved east to Novorossiysk. Here too, they are under threat. However, Ochamchiri could thus offer a politically complicated hiding place from Ukrainian forces. Ukraine destroyed $200 million worth of Russian missiles in one day. On July the 8th, Russia launched a massive missile strike on Ukraine. Russia spent about 200 to 250 million dollars on this, Forbes reports. The article states that the Russian Federation launched 38 air, sea and land-based missiles at Ukraine. One KH-47M2 Kinzhal aero-ballistic missile, four Iskander-M ballistic missiles, one 3M22 Zircon cruise missile, 13 X-101 cruise missiles, 14 caliber cruise missiles, 2 X-22 cruise missiles, 3 guided aircraft missiles, KH-59 stroke KH-69. At the same time, the Ukrainian Air Force managed to destroy 30 of the 38 missiles. The cost of the downed missiles is estimated at between 160 million and 200 million dollars. According to the Kiev School of Economics, as of May 2024, due to the full-scale Russian invasion, Ukraine's energy sector suffered direct losses and indirect financial losses amounting to $56.2 billion, the article says. American F-16 fighters will help Ukraine defend itself from Russian missile terror. It is also necessary to strike military aircraft while they are still on Russian territory. This opinion was expressed by military expert Pavel Narozny in a commentary to Focus. According to him, the Russian invaders are looking for ways to overload Ukraine's air defense in order to break through it and strike the necessary targets. Based on the command's statistics, it is clear that the capabilities of Ukrainian air defense systems are insufficient. The West needs to immediately pay attention to the problem and begin supplying long-range weapons. It is better to destroy Russian aircraft at airfields, he believes. Several dozen F-16 fighters will also help cover the skies from Russian massive shelling, the expert says. Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have promised to transfer about 80 F-16 multi-role fighters to Ukraine. The exact dates for sending the first birds are unknown, but this should happen this summer. Earlier, the head of the Danish Air Force, Jan Dam, reported that some of the Ukrainian specialists who were trained to service Western fighters are already in Ukraine. 